proposal in tourism. So first of all, I want to mention the topics which I will talk about. First of all, I want to introduce myself as my moderator already introduced me. And I want to talk also a little bit about the geography of Hungary and some important facts about my country. And I want to talk also about the tourist attractions which you need to see when you are coming to Hungary. And of course, I also want to talk about my experience here in Indonesia. So, yeah, that, that's all about me. What's the most important is that I'm making an internship now at the, at the University of Indiana, at the German department, so that I'm teaching German. One of my students is sitting there. <laughs> and uh, I'm staying here till the middle of December, and I'm here in Anna since. Um, of September, so that I'm staying here about four months. And yeah, my language skills, my mother language is Hungarian, but German is also my second mother language, so I speak it in a higher level. English and Dutch only just on intermediate level. Okay, so uh, I search for some information about Hungary in the internet because I, okay, it's my country, but I also so I don't know everything about my country. And I found a quite interesting commentary, like where do they come from, those Hungarians with their fine language from part of the Europe? Now they live in the middle of Europe. So what this means? Hungary is a quite small country, just like Austria or the Czech Republic, in the middle of Europe, in the heart of Europe. And the old, old, old Hungarian people. So the first Hungarian people, they come, they came from the Urals, from the Russia today, and they came to Hungary. So that our borderlands are to Austria, in the northern part of, to Slovakia and to Ukraine, and then uh, in the eastern part to Romania and to Serbia here in the southern part and Croatia and Slovenia. Our highest mountain, mountain, is the Kika. It is 1,040 meters. So that the Alps is here, but in Hungary, this is, yeah, unfortunately, our highest mountain. So it's, it's not as high as, I don't know, Bromo or something. Uh, Bromo is nice. And we have also two quite famous rivers, like the Danube. The Danube is coming from Germany, here to Austria, Budapest, and then here to the, yeah, to here, this is the Black Sea. And then we also have the Tisza. <coughs> and the largest lake of Hungary is the Balaton. Uh, this is actually the biggest lake, the largest lake in the eastern part of Europe. And our capital city is Budapest. I, who has heard about who has heard about Budapest so far? Budapest, okay. One person. <laughs> okay. So our capital city is Budapest with two million people. Okay, so it looks like this. This is our capital city in the middle of the country. And I'm studying, or I studied, and I'm studying here in this city in Debrecen. But actually, I came from a very, very small village, just five kilometers far away from Romania. From Almost, this is located here. So you see, here are our neighborhoods. Yeah, and here is the Balan. So quite far from me. Yeah. Okay. Some important facts about my country. So our official name is. Yeah, Republic of Hungary, and our climate is yeah continental with some Mediterranean and Atlantic influences. This means that our summer is quite hot, so sometimes we have 40 degrees, and sometimes we have no rain for one month or so, and I hate it actually. And the winter is quite cold, sometimes minus 15 or so, and of course we have snow. So. Uh, I don't know if anybody has seen snow already. No. 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 We don't have snow. Yeah, yeah, I know that you don't have, but maybe someone was in the very close. Uh, 
Yes, and we have snow. And as I was a child, we have a snow with one meter or one and a half meter. And I loved it. And I loved it. But today, because of the global warming, and so we have only just, yeah, so 50 centimeters snow or something like this. Yeah, our population is almost 10 million. It's, we are so many. And what our religion, yeah, about our religion, the most of the people are Catholics. So almost 40% of the people in Hungary are Catholics. And Protestants are almost 40% and also Protestant. And after that is coming the Orthodox Christianity. So Hungary is a Christian country. Hungary is also part of the EU, so the European Union since 2004, and our language is Hungarian. This is related to the Finnish language and to the Turkish language, but they absolutely do not understand each other. We are in the same language family, but we don't understand each other because of the, because of the language and development. And our currency is, yeah, Hungarian foreign. Uh, yeah, and this looks like this. We have coins and banknotes. And here in the banknotes are of course some famous persons from Hungary like like yeah leaders or, or um, yeah outdoors or so. And here also some Hungarian motifs. So Hungary uh, is as I told you in the heart is in the heart of Europe, but because of our historical development in the history we had we have an even uh, after the First World War, when many, many Hungarian people uh, yeah, they were living in Romania, so in Romania today, Serbia, Croatia, Slovakia, <coughs> but before the First World War, these areas were Hungarian areas. But after the First World War, we lost not only our area, but also our people, our Hungarian people in Romania and Slovakia and so on. So that they are today areas which are in Romania and Slovakia, but in these countries there are living many, many Hungarian people. It's quite sad for us. For example, my dad came also from Romania. He was, or he is a Hungarian, but his family had to live in Romania. And I have also many relatives in, in Romania because of this. Yeah. And it's quite sad because uh, the Hungarians today who are living in Romania, who are living in Slovakia or in Ukraine, they need to speak Romania, they need to speak Slovakia or Ukraine because they are living there, although they are Hungarian people as well as I am. Oh, uh, yeah, my moderator already told me that she wants to visit Hungary because she is, yeah, she was falling in love with Budapest because of some pictures. And <laughs> that's why I want to talk to you now about some tourist attractions, not only in Budapest, but also in Hungary, in the country. So Budapest, just a small history today, the city. So Budapest was created to the Roma people and it's, its name was Aquinco, and later this city, so later the city, they come some, the old, old, old Hungarian persons, the old Hungarian leaders, and they uh, settled down there, and the leader of the Hungarian persons was Magyar. And Magyar, and Hungary is in Hungarian, Magyar, what's that? So, the name of Hungary is coming from his name, actually, from the first, first, first leader of the Hungarian people in the old times. And Budapest is separated into two parts. You need to imagine that you have a plane. You have, uh, yeah, just a plane like this. There is the Danube, and on the other side of the Danube, there are big hills. Yeah, mountains in Hungary, but big hills, and it's like wonderful because yeah, it's like Prague, you know, Prague the city, 
we have many, many bridges, and then the other side is like this, and then the other side would cute the other side. Yeah. And Budapest is also quite an international city because of the tourism, because of the investments there. And but it is also quite a financial and business service center and of course also culture and transportation center. So one of the most important tourist destinations is the Orsakhan. This is the Hungarian Parliament building. It looks a little bit like the Parliament building in London. They have the same style actually. And in this building, there is the seat of the National Assembly of Hungary. And this is, this is also something very, very important because, yeah, yeah this is actually the, the most important building in Hungary. And as you see, here, yeah, here is the venue. This is located in Pest, so in the area which looks like this. And here, on the other side of the venue here, there are already 